good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. And I uh, hope you just enjoyed the lunch. I will enjoy my talk, too. Uh, I'm David Chen uh, from Stream Computing. And uh, Stream Computing is a premium uh, member of the RISAP International. So uh, as the company rep in the RISAP International, I work at the TSC, uh, Technical Steering Committee, and uh, software, application, uh, software Application and the Tools Horizontal Committee, as well as AI Machine Learning SIG to build the software ec uh, ecosystem and uh, the ISA standard work for the RISC V community. So today, I'm very glad to be here to share with you uh, some of our latest work on the AI accelerators and the computing infrastructures using RISC V instructions. OK, let's start. Uh, as we know, AI and machine learning uh, is the one of the most significant computing trends in recent years. And no doubt, RISC V has become the preferred uh, architecture or standard for designing the industry's most performant and efficient AI machine learning uh, computing resources. So today, we can see more and more uh, AI uh, of such kind of adoptions uh, in the AI machine learning hardware markets, for example, from the CPU design uh, to SOC platform to AI accelerators. Yes, uh, so you can see, um, we're not surprised to see that uh, at the RISC V Europe and China, AI is one of the most popular topics. It looks like everyone's talking about uh, AI. And also at here, the RISC V Summit at, uh, in uh, America, it's not surprised to see, yeah, in yesterday, in Krista's presentation, she probably spent maybe half our time to address the importance of AI. But we are still a little surprised to see the result of this year's Nobel, Nobel Prize in physics, right? So as an, oops, yeah. as an AI accelerator provider, uh, stream computing uh, works on the high-end data center chips using RISC-V instructions. And uh, we have been dedicated uh, for the matrix extension and the corresponding open source projects uh, from the very beginning. So from this uh, bottom, uh, timeline in the bottom, you, know, you can see we kick off this uh, matrix extension project almost three years ago. And then uh, around two years ago, we submitted the initial version of the exten uh, matrix extensions back to the community. And then followed by the, uh, a year, uh, uh, like uh, RTL code and, and the implementation are added in this project. And we work with partners, uh, particularly Damo Academy, to drive the incubation of the AMU work. And the Damo Academy is the leader in, uh, in this area. And our plan, uh, you can see, is to support AME and the into our products. And we hope we can put the AME uh, ratified standard into the real application once it's available or as soon as possible. So for our open source project, uh, it uh, has around nine uh, sub-projects and a big umbrella. So uh, from the spec uh, work uh, to the implementation work. So in the following two slides, uh, I will uh, stress a little bit about the, uh, the first one is a matrix extension work and the second one is the Chipyard project uh, using the matrix extension uh, with the uh, scoop implementation, uh, implementation. Okay, let's uh, take a look at uh, this uh, architecture work or matrix extension work because this is the whole part of the whole project. The uh, principle of this design uh, is based on the uh, tile-based matrix multiplication or block matrix multiplication. And uh, based on this, uh, a series of the supporting instructions and the states are derived. Uh, for example, the architect uh, architecture of the RISC-5 uh, style instructions and the GPR architecture, uh, general purpose register uh, architecture. 
and uh, can fully realize the data reuse and uh, imp uh, simplify the implementation uh, of the uh, supporting two, two, uh, two chains. And uh, in order to reduce the difficulty or complexity of the hardware and the software uh, design and to ensure the binary uh, compatibility, so the architecture of the input tile register and the output uh, accumulation uh, register is separated. And uh, so, but uh, we choose uh, this uh, eight plus eight design idea because we try to balance uh, the overhead of the software optimization uh, space and the context uh, switching. And uh, also, uh, this uh, design is a modular uh, design. Um, and uh, we try to uh, uh, support uh, many, uh, many types of the data, uh, data type and to implement the extension to support uh, different or various application scenarios. Uh, so for example, uh, this uh, matrix vector extension are designed to uh, support the data, uh, direct data uh, exchange between the matrix uh, uh, registers and the vector registers. And uh, for this I'm, uh, I'm two CUL or convolution, uh, this extension is designed to support the online convolution competition and uh, improve the ex execution efficiency uh, for this uh, convolutional uh, neutral uh, network. And uh, for the sparsity, it's very uh, easy to understand, right? To use, uh, designs to save the memory access uh, bandwidth. So uh, totally all these uh, instruction, instructions uh, can be divided uh, into six blocks. It's a list on the right side. And there's only one block I want to uh, highlight a little bit more is element-wise instruction. And because, uh, as I introduced, we are working in the AMETG. So I'm not sure anyone just joined the member day in the first day uh, of this event. Uh, Jose introduced the latest work on the uh, matrix, right? And for the matrix extension, there are two TGs, and the AME and the, and the IME. For AME, we are works on the AI, uh, uh, AME. Uh, uh, it, this means the design idea uh, is to support uh, RVV decoupling, uh, which means the matrix extension can run uh, independently without relying on the RVV, uh, RVV or RISC-V uh, vector. So that's the design idea. And, but, so these uh, element-wise instructions are designed to handle all element-wise uh, operations, like add, subtract, uh, subtract et cetera. In the, this uh, open uh, source project, and uh, as I uh, mentioned before, uh, we posted uh, in the GitHub around three years ago, and it's upgraded uh, gradually. And also uh, to help the developers uh, to evaluate these uh, matrix extension uh, instructions in the, we have uh, this uh, implementation projects. Uh, in, in short, it's a keep, uh, chip yard project uh, using uh, this uh, matrix extension uh, with the scoop implementation. Uh, scoop means the stream computing of order processing, and it con concludes the boom and the vector uh, standard and the matrix extension. Uh, boom, uh, that, uh, I think everyone knows, uh, is an open source core. Uh, means a stand, uh, Berkeley open source machine. So we use this core uh, plus the vector uh, uh, standard and the matrix ex uh, uh, extension uh, to, prov uh, to provide uh, the developers to evaluate uh, this um, ma uh, matrix uh, extension. And uh, since uh, these are uh, open source projects, and uh, right now the version is 0.2. And in the past three months, we, our team made a great progress on this. And uh, we are, uh, already finished a 0.5 version and uh, decided to upgrade this into the GitHub next week. So we uh, will uh, welcome everyone to join this open source project and uh, we can contribute together. Okay, let's uh, take, a look at, uh, take a look at what, uh, how we put this effort into our real product. Uh, it's STC P920. It's a, a AI accelerator, it's an NPU card actually, and uh, with a good programmability, 
in the can support uh, IP16 and int8. And uh, it already has been shipped around uh, tens of thousands of cars uh, since 2022. And uh, you can see some logos of our customers in China. And uh, this card is designed to apply to uh, various scenarios in AI. For example, the face recognition, the audio video processing, and the natural language processing. And in the later part of my presentation, I will introduce a real uh, application case for the natural language processing using this card. <coughs> yeah, I just just finished uh, the ha hardware side and uh, to help the developers to evaluate this hardware, we, de we developed a whole package of this uh, software uh, stack. Uh, it has around uh, five blocks. So in the lower side uh, level, you can see the HPE. HPE uh, stands for the hypergenous uh, programming environment. It has two components, uh, tools and the runtime. Uh, tools means provide the tools uh, functions uh, for the whole system, like testing uh, or SMI means uh, for the uh, uh, board uh, management uh, tools and other tools like evaluation and test performance testing. Uh, STCCL uh, mean, uh, is a uh, communi uh, communication library. Uh, it's designed to support the multi-card and the multi-machine uh, framework. And the DNN uh, is the deep learning uh, neural network and is optimized uh, on our hardware. And the D, uh, this DN library supports the RVV, the risk uh, vector, and the matrix extension to run or to implement the operators and the models uh, which are widely used in a large language model. And I will use the last, uh, next two slides to introduce the MMTC and the uh, STCLM um, a little bit, uh, which, uh, which means one is the compiler, another one is the large model, large language model. Okay, let's uh, see uh, this uh, LMM, because we are an uh, inference card, so there are many uh, typical challenges. Uh, first one is uh, new LMS uh, emerging, and uh, it's very hard to uh, follow the trend. Uh, second is there are uh, the large scale of the model parameters, uh, makes it very hard to achieve the optimal, optimal solution. Uh, so, but, and, uh, but in community, the open source uh, op, uh, optimal solution are all, all, always based on the GPUs. So how we can uh, learn from these uh, optimization uh, solutions and uh, transfer to the NPU is our challenges. And uh, we did some work at the list here. Uh, generally, uh, it uh, will support the main, uh, mainstream the framework and uh, a highlight is uh, here serving, for, for example, the entry points. We provide the open AI style uh, entry point, and we also support the treatment backend to integrate it into the K8S cluster. It's a Kubernetes cluster. And for the uh, compiler, it's a uh, uh, ML-based uh, compiler. Uh, generally, this uh, high-performance uh, deep learning compiler, and they realize the auto compilation and the on the right side is the whole process. In the, we have hardware, we have the software. Next step is to do the application. And we made a lot of effort and we conduct the in-depth exploration on the application of the large language model in the domain, uh, vertical domain. Uh, you, if, you, if you want to find a good application or uh, in the ver vertical domain or specific domain, you, 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 you need to handle uh, all these tasks on the right side. For example, uh, for example uh, the build of the domain specific knowledge graph and manage this knowledge and then apply knowledge uh, to, and, uh, to create a domain specific RM. So the uh, workflow is look like in the, on the left side, uh, drafted here. We need to build the computing platform and uh, use uh, the large language model and uh, extract the domain sp specific knowledge uh, from this domain specific data and then put it into the domain specific knowledge graph to finish this inference process. Yeah. Let's uh, look at a real application as I um, introduced before. Uh, this uh, 
a real application. Uh, it's an uh, LM app for smart community services. Now it's running now. It's running on a big intelligent cluster. And uh, the computing power is around 150p uh, with 1,000 hour NPU card. And this project is exp uh, expected to expand to 1,000p in three years. And the, the one of the purpose of this project is to provide the smart community services to the residents. Be be because for the smart community uh, service, uh, the purpose is to provide the residents with a more convenient, more friendly, more comfortable uh, living environment and enhance uh, the community service and uh, improve the governance. So we work, uh, our team, uh, I worked very hard to uh, create or construct this knowledge graph for over 5,000 categories. You can see that. In the typical services we provided, is, uh, such as the property management, health management, convenience uh, services. Some examples uh, is for property management, maybe the online payment. And for the health management, maybe it's like a telemedicine. And for the convenience uh, services, is, uh, some examples is like the uh, uh, housekeeping or reservation for the old people or for the uh, disabled in the community. So, you can, yeah, so in summary, uh, large, uh, large community uh, language model can uh, uh, enhance the community, uh, smart community service a lot. And uh, since the te uh, this technology uh, graduated very quickly, and uh, the, these all applications uh, become more, uh, more and more comprehensive and complicated, and also the need for the more uh, domain-specific application hardware are also uh, very, uh, very big. So now, uh, you know, this uh, AI is already become one of the basic infrastructures of our life today in China. Last but not least, uh, least I will highlight uh, our work uh, for the uh, talent co uh, cultivation. In the, you can see uh, we worked with the Linz Foundation Open Source Software Academy in China. We uh, set up the training centers. Uh, we invite uh, professors to share uh, RISC five courses. And in Hong Kong, RISC five day, we invited the professors and the academic engineers to discuss the global cooperation. Okay, as we conclude, uh, RISC five is not just an architecture. It's a, a paradigm shift uh, in the design, the AI accelerators and the computing resources. In the, the uh, openness and the community nature, driven nature, uh, may, make uh, RISC five is the, maybe the best choice for the uh, for the AI. In the like uh, 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 Jeffrey Hinton, uh, the winner of the uh, 2024 Nobel Prize in phys uh, Physics, once uh, mentioned, yeah, the future depends on what you do today. So let's embrace uh, this uh, spirit of the innovation and shape the future together. Thank you.